Hello everybody, I'm Burnt Out Guy, and welcome, welcome to my survival world. Um, I call my survival world just a dream, and in my just a dream world, well, I haven't done absolutely sweet nothing outside. Um, I woke up over here, and I seen this really big mountain in front of me, and I figured I would go and make a home out of it. So, in this section over here, there was just like a bunch of trees, tons of trees. So that was pretty much all what I cleared the first time around in order to mix some of my resources. But here's the mountain that I seen, and I thought it would be pretty cool to, to begin my home with. So, I started my home over here. Not much of a home at the moment, so it's kind of more like a, a factory. So, oh, in here we have my, uh, I guess this is pretty much all like my, uh, my factory area, <laughs> my resource collecting area. Here I built a sand generator, but it's a dual sand generator, it's two of them at the same time, so that way I don't have to wait as long to uh, get my sand, works really good. for sand. So it doesn't take very long to get uh, sand with this system. <laughs> it's pretty quick. Uh, as you can see, uh, the produce rate is pretty high. So I'll just go turn it off. Super. Wait till all this comes out. Doodle doodle do. Give you a rough idea of how about I have a little bit on me there, but it's no big deal. So I'll probably end up making like just like a little bit of a storage around here and something or other for all that. Up there I'm Quite not sure exactly what I'm going to do. I was mining it out for a space for that. So I'll probably end up putting something up there. Oh, mm. oh yeah, there we go. Tongue twister. Uh, something up there. So down here I have a slime farm. And then over here is the uh, tree eater that I modified to be an automatic one. Very nice little spacing for it. And uh, down in my slime farm. I built a, uh, a three chunks worth of uh, slime farm, so I had three of them uh, in a row, and that's what I built uh, my slime farm with. I can hear them. I guess I should eat. So this is my slime farm. Um, eventually I'm going to get rid of all the torches and I left two spacing because this row right here I'm going to eventually get rid of it all and it's all going to be glowstone. And then uh, I might do all the walls to uh, glowstone as well just to bring up all the, uh, the spawn rate and make it really bright. And once I get rid of all the torches, I'll probably have a, a lot higher spawn rate than what I have now. Um, like I said, i got two floors going on right now. Come on. There we go. Got two floors going on. Um, I think I, was, I haven't started the third yet. But I just started to kind of like work my way up. So I think I'm going to probably gonna make like that a uh, four section. And over here is where I go in and collect my slime. Really anxious for all the uh, hoppers and stuff like that there to come into effect because that's going to be totally kick ass. Be able to hook myself some nice little systems up. You can see my slime farm does produce, but it just 
not a super high spawn rate, so yeah, that's that for my uh, slime farm anyways. So much more to come on that. And then uh, go show you my skeleton farm that I have. I discovered one that I have uh, kind of close to my home, so that's pretty awesome. That I'll probably end up uh, changing a few things about that too, but right now I got uh, a cutoff system set up so that way if I have to do anything downstairs in my room while well, I can stop the flow of the uh, of the skeletons coming in. So, yeah, my um, skeleton farm would be over here. See, like, I don't know if I'm going to do any, uh, just plays or anything like that there. I haven't decided yet. I might just do videos and show you little updates about what I've been doing in my, <coughs> in my survival world. Like I said, I haven't, uh, really decided what I'm going to do with that yet, so, um, my skeletons will spawn, they'll come through here, and they'll work their way up, so they should spawn anytime. There we go. Hello beautiful skeletons. Kick your ass later on. You give me lots of bone meal. So works a pretty good system. They'll go up, they'll fall down, they'll come here. Like I said I have a cutoff valve upstairs to not let them down, which I'm not sure if it's open or closed right now. <laughs> uh probably closed. Let's try to open that. There we go. Look at that. And then I can kill them so I could like close that off up there if I want. Come in here and kill them. You can't get to the ones at the back. Ah, yes you can. So I put a little double piston thing there just to push it forward. Um, they can shoot me from upstairs because it's only a one block block and the upper part so they can still kind of shoot down that way oh, I think it's kind of funny so I might change that eventually too I might put double piston up there who knows um, now this ladder here just kind of like leads to the, the upper world I was just digging around and kind of luckily came across it so it's pretty cool so there that's where I get all my bone meal and stuff from and uh, I was thinking about maybe putting farms down here, I'm not sure yet, because there's not far above me, there's like uh, a lot of animals that spawn up here. I might even put it up here too, I haven't decided yet, I'm kind of not there yet. And then I still have a section to build with all my uh, my farms, my uh, not my animal farms, but the, you know, food farms, like wheat and crap like that. So with that I wasn't exactly sure. At first I thought I was gonna like line them all up here and then I got into playing with this thing and I decided to put it here instead. So uh, I'm not sure where I'm gonna put those. I might just dig down a little bit more or I might put them up higher. We'll see. But so far this is what I've been doing for my survival world mainly concentrating on my base, trying to get myself uh, self-sufficient and everything I need to survive here. Um, I had a wheat farm up here and I took it down because of this thing here, because of my sand generator. It actually was sitting right there. Uh, so now I gotta rebuild that. <laughs> Alright, so like I said, I'll probably end up putting all my farms down here or even just right above me here make it nice and practical or I might just put my animal ones up there or something, I don't know I haven't figured it out yet I haven't gotten that far like I said, I just, just, just finished uh, working on this thing here and getting it all set up and as you can see, I still have some work on the roof and up there to do to make it look all nice and pretty but other than that, that's it so far so stay tuned for some more updates or whatever and if y'all want me just to make a, a just play and 
kind of show you a little bit more details about stuff that I'm doing in my world and um, comment below and don't forget to like and subscribe as uh, the more you like and subscribe the more I'll uh, come up with some interesting things uh, I'm working on a uh, minecart system for storage right now it's pretty big it's pretty massive uh, it does a lot of different things um, you're going to be able to load it and unload it whenever you want um, the only downfall to it is it's a system where you can't really select an individual cart within the um, within the, uh, the dispenser but hey, well, at least it's a really cool storage system and you'll be able to store all kinds of stuff in there so there's that and uh, who knows I might find some more things to more machines to tweak out and upgrade and make a little bit better but that's it for now so take care like and subscribe and peace